Hey guys, Rick Malava here. Uh, Kaleidoscope in the forums was asking how he can make this cylindrical surface here and put uh, these these uh, indentations into it with these sharp corners. Uh, of course, if you try to do this and then add control edges running uh, vertically in a cylindrical surface, you're going to get uh, creases, as you can see here, uh, in the geometry that he was putting together. So he was asking, how can I put holes uh, into a curved surface that have sharp corners without getting this creasing. So there's a couple ways you can do it. One way is uh, if we think about this, you could build this as a bunch of separate pieces. Uh, uh, for instance, a you know, keep this one cylinder uh, and just have a band that's indented all the way around the cylinder and not worry about these vertical styles and then put the vertical styles in as separate pieces. Uh, into the geometry and you'll get nice you know nice sharp corners where the, they meet and if your camera doesn't get in too close you won't really see the seam that's that's uh, created when you do that um, the other option is uh, to increase the density of your mesh to start with so that when you try to put in the edges that you need to sharpen these corners up you don't you don't get the creasing because the mesh is denser uh, to begin with uh, to demonstrate that or to give you an idea of what I mean by that if I go to this cylinder that I've created right here, um, if I select these four faces and I skip a face and then I skip, uh, select these four faces, you see it gets me uh, to one quarter of the cylinder and it's pretty much, uh, this would represent the hole that we want to put into this uh, into the surface. If I t take and uh, for instance insert an edge loop here and here for you to visualize that better uh, now if I come in here, face, once again from the front, we go 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then on the side we skip 1, 1, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, 4, and then we come in here and we extrude these guys in. Oop, I got one on the back that I didn't want. 3, 4, do that once again. Uh, damn it, I keep picking edges Z, faces I don't want. Okay, let's try it a third time. I'll just hit extrude from up here. Yay, finally, okay. And we extrude these in, right? So now we've got the basic shape that he, he had in his uh, cornice, buttress, whatever you call that architectural shape. Um, but if I go to smooth this, it gets all wonky, right? So I got to put control edges in to tighten all this up. Well, the edges that run around the cylinder are pretty easy. I can just put a control edge in here and a control edge in up here and one here and one here. And now if I smooth it this way, uh, let's also get rid of these tops and bottoms because they're smoothing out as well. But now if I smooth this this way, now you see we're having no problems getting sharp edges coming around uh, running horizontally, but the vertical edges become a problem. So in order to get those to be sharp, I'd have to do something like, oh, insert an edge here and insert an edge here, right? And then what I could do, what I could uh, do is uh, take these verts up here and use the merge vert tool and sort of merge those over like that and then take this middle edge right here just delete it now I've got one two three four sided triangle there and then I get a nice corner right there but I'm still if you look at this right if I jiggle it just right you're getting some weird kind of puckering in this corner here and you can see the same effect you're kind of getting over here and we're still if I get at the right angle we're still this is flattening out and the reason for that is this is just too big of an area between these edges to try to put these to tighten these edges up and then have this big ex flat expanse here um, so instead of starting with 36 edges um, I went to consider starting with 
72 edges, twice as many edges. Now what you can do is pick a face to 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, right? Skip to 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 2. And now you're one quarter of the way around the model again, and you've got the, the front opening. And now we've got these vertical ones a little tighter together. Now I went through the process of cutting this all up and extruding out all the other bits and I still was getting some puckering that I didn't like at the corners so I took it one step further and instead of 72 sides in the cylinder I went with uh, 108 sides in the cylinder and I came out with this as the solution which is one single model one single part and you can see you don't get any weird puckering in the corners and everything looks looks correct, right? We've got uh, these nice tight edges coming around here. Uh, I just realized I could probably put one more control edge in right there. That's better. Yeah, because the way it is is it's, it's sharp coming around here and then there's a rounded bit here and then it's sharp coming around here. So I added the control edges in to do that properly. In fact, I could probably put one there one there if I really wanted to emphasize the sharp corner there. Okay, so a sharp corner, nice round, then a sharp corner, and then we've got our sharp tight corners over here. We don't get any weird puckering. It's smoothing around the model really nicely. And the solution there, if you'll notice, uh, I can show you the geometry or the topology that I came up with for the solution. Uh, Right. We just started out with more lines to begin with. Uh, all of the control edges that we need that run around the surface are pretty straightforward and easy to put in. Let me harden these so it's easier to see. I'll harden everything. Okay. So now it's easier to see where the control edges are. So uh, in order to make this corner tight, um, I needed to add one vertical edge here right here, this edge, right there, but I didn't want to carry that all the way through the model, it would it would create a crease. So what I did is created an edge that came down here, right, with this edge to hold this corner shape all the way out to this point, and then there was a edge here, right, and I just simply took Right, so basically I added an edge that went down here, I added an edge that went here and terminated at this point, and then I just took the split edge tool and just did a split to wrap it around. Oops, let's get in a little closer here. Just did a split if I can get the line. There we go just did a split to wrap it around there and then now I had two triangles so I just have to delete this edge in the middle and that gives me a single four-sided polygon one two three four when you smooth that out you get the nice corner here Okay, and you don't affect or don't get a crease that comes down this line right here and I just did that at all of the corner points in the surface so there you go